Besides being a powerful raw processing engine, PhotoRAW 2020 is also an amazing photo organizer, and it can help you keep track of your images really easily. One thing that I do to keep track of my recent favorites is I like to use albums and nested albums. So inside PhotoRAW 2020, I'm actually inside one of my favorite albums over here. And you can see I have a mixture of portraits and landscapes and some nature. So what I do to separate the two is I use nested albums. So I have my landscapes and my nature favorites right here, and then I have my portrait favorites right there. And the reason that I separate the two is because when I want to print these photographs, I'm going to be using different printer settings for landscapes than I am for portraits. So if I want to print landscapes, for example, I can just click on my landscapes album. I can select all of my favorite recent landscapes. And then I can head down and I can click on this all new print module. So now we're inside PhotoRAW 2020's all new print module. And it's really easy to use. To start off, we can see that we have a preview of all of our photographs here. And if we pull this down, it's just showing them how they're laid out. One thing that I like to do with the print module, especially if I'm using landscapes, is I'll head down and I can change the view options with these icons. And I click this one to see them back to back. And if I want to remove any of these prints, I can just click on this check mark and it will remove them from the print queue. Then over here in our printer options, we can modify how these are printed. So first I'm going to make sure that I actually have the correct printer selected. And then I have the right page size. Well, for these landscapes, I actually want to print them on some 8x10 paper. So I'm going to go into page size and I'm going to choose 8x10. And then I'm going to change the orientation to horizontal. And then to flip them around, I'm just going to head down into my print area right here. And in this custom area, I'm going to go down to rotate to fit and I'll just click that off. There we go. So now that I laid out a little bit better. And I'm going to go into my size right here for this print area. And I'm going to choose 8 by 10. So it just makes them a little bit bigger. If we wanted to fill these to the page, we could go up here to our print area and we could actually click fill, or we could head down into our fitting for this custom and we could choose fill. But you can see that when I click fill, it's actually cropping some of these photos because they're not all actually eight by 10 images. So whenever I'm using different crops, I tend to go into my fitting and I'll use fit. But if they're all the same size, you could easily use the fill option and then just modify the size of your photos. So now that we have these photos laid out the way we want them, we can head up to our color area and we can choose our profile. So for landscapes, I'm going to head down and we can actually choose, let's choose a nice semi-gloss paper profile. And for my intent, I'm going to leave it at perceptual. And now that I've changed my profile here, I'm going to go up into Setup. And in my Page Attributes menu right there, I'm going to head down and choose Quality and Media. And in this Media type, I'm going to make sure that I match that semi-gloss paper that I chose in the color. So we'll go to Photo Papers, and we'll go down to Photo Paper Plus Semi-Gloss. Perfect. So now we can head down, and if we wanted to add a watermark, I could come in here and add a nice little watermark on here. We could actually use this, this made with on one. And let's put it down in the bottom corner. And let's make it a lot smaller. There we go. And then we can add a little bit of sharpening. And we'll just choose print. And then we can just click print all to send them to the printer. But let's say we're looking to print more than one photograph on each piece of paper. 
Let's say we're looking to print some portraits and put them into a portfolio binder. We could go into our portraits. We could select all of our recent favorite portraits. And we could head back into our printer module. And let's go up to our page size. And let's just choose US letter paper. And then we'll change our orientation back to vertical. We'll head down to our profile here. And let's go up and we'll choose luster paper. And then for our print area, let's use this preset 4x5. So now it's putting four 4x5s on this one sheet of paper. And I'm going to head down here into this custom area, and I'm going to turn that rotate to fit off. And I'm going to go into fitting, and I'm going to choose fit. There we go. So now I can put this into a portfolio binder, or I could simply cut these out, and I could frame them. So I'm going to head down, and I'm going to turn off this watermark. And I'm also going to turn off the sharpening. I'll hide those two. And if we scroll down here, I like how they're laid out. So we'll go to Setup. Go back into that menu right there, Quality and Media. And we'll choose Luster Paper. And we can head down, and we can just click Print All. And that's how easy it is to use the all-new print module inside PhotoRAW 2020.